what's going on everybody? Sean Pierce Johnson here, and welcome to another Stomp Box Every Day. Now, this year we've done quite a few of these things, and it usually means that we have a new pedal from Walrus Audio. Well, today is no exception. We have the brand new EB10 EQ Boost Utility pedal on the Stomp and Block today. Now, chances are, you're looking at these very sexy glamour shots on your screen right now and thinking to yourself, this looks familiar. I've seen this before. How is this a new pedal? Well, your suspicions are definitely correct, but the EB10 takes that first pedal, ups the ante of it a little bit, makes it a little bit more versatile, and, well, just makes it an all-around great utility tool, better than its first iteration. We're gonna skip all that, we're not gonna bother with it, we're not gonna address it anymore, we're just going to look at the EB10 on its own. So, throwing the pedal up on the screen, let's take a look at the controls and some of the features and see how the EB10 takes that initial platform and ups it a little bit. Now, we have controls for low, mid, and high, a three-band EQ, allowing you to boost and cut up to 12 dB. Now these little toggle switches underneath the EQ controls allow you to select whether or not you're cutting those frequencies or boosting those frequencies. The second thing, of course, in this pedal is the 10 dB MOSFET boost, and there is a lot on tap in here, driving the front end of your amplifier to make something that sounds oh so tasty. What can we do with this package that'll make it a lot better? You can save three presets of EQ and boost combination to work with any guitar, any amplifier that you might want to use. And every guitar that you heard on the intro piece was manipulated with the EB-10. The Les Paul, Jennings Navigator, you can do whatever you want with it. So rather than go over all the different sounds of boosting and cutting all these different frequencies, I would rather show you guys the presets that I've created and the way that I typically like to use the EB-10 within the context of my rig. If you have any questions about the signal flow and the rig used in the video today, please do look down in the description below. For now, we're going to get started with a little preset that I like to use to make sure that my high output pickups on the Les Paul stay very nicely clean through the Rockerverb 100. <laughs> tools that I have found over the course of my career when it comes to maintaining a nice clean tone is really being able to shape the guitar's mid-range. Guitar is a mid-range instrument, so those are the frequencies with which our instrument occupies audio space and time and all these other things. The point is, those are also the frequencies that distort first, and when it comes to clean guitar, you don't really want distortion, do you? Well, that's exactly what we're doing with this particular preset. Giving a little bit more bass to some clean guitar to help flesh things out a bit, scooping out those mid-range frequencies that we can, you know, make sure that that guitar stays nice and clean, and adding a little bit of sprinkle of detail with the treble. Now you may notice right here on the right side of the EB-10 screen that P1 is flashing. That means that you are in preset mode and you have changed the previously selected preset in some way. You've made an adjustment. Now, when you're in preset mode, you end up cycling through the different presets. Now, we have three, and I will show you those ones momentarily. But let's say we want to hear our original guitar tone to compare that preset that we just made with. <laughs> Press and hold the foot switch for three seconds. 
And now we're in live mode. Let's turn it off. Let's hear our original clean tone. Go to our preset. I mean, we could have stayed in live mode. The, the knobs reflect so that you guys know what it, the hell I'm doing here. Now I can still hear a little bit of crispiness underneath that, but I kind of like it as a little bit of a layer thing. Humbuckers, well, they just tend to be my speed. And although I love this Jennings Navigator, it has quickly become one of my favorite guitars in the collection, that sometimes I need these single coils to have just a little bit more chunk, a little something something underneath, if you know what I mean. That means I need a good wallop of bass, a little bit of mid-range, and to cut some of these ice picky highs that single coil bridge pickups are known for. And the EB-10 does that fantastically. It also helps me get a little bit more output from the guitar so that I can drive the front end of the amp into some higher gain territory. And basically what you see on the pedal right now is exactly what I'm doing. Let's go ahead and just hear what that sounds like because I'm curious on a clean channel. That's actually kind of fun sounding. But hey, it's all about dirty here, so switching over to the dirty channel. I can't talk today for some reason doing this video. That sounds really good. Let's go back to that and let's just hear that difference again. Wow. I love the seven string guitar and I have loved this one ever since I got it. It has inspired a lot of new songs for me and it has opened up a lot of cool creative worlds. However, sometimes the range of frequencies that a seven string guitar occupies can get a little muddy and can lose a lot of the detail. And I find that this setting, which I guess I could call the uh, 
666 setting, go figure, is great for making sure that this evil sounding guitar can be even more evil, if you catch my meaning. Anyway, it basically involves cutting lows and mids and boosting highs, as well as adding in that 10 dB MOSFET boost. Now stock, the mid-range frequency on the EB10 is set to 800 hertz. Now you can actually open up the pedal and adjust the mid-range frequency and the cue of the mid-range frequency. So it's essentially a parametric mid-range frequency, which is pretty darn cool. Now we're not gonna worry about that right now because it would involve me getting a little tiny screwdriver, which I don't have one nearby, uh, opening up the back of the pedal and, and messing with everything going on right here. All you need to know is that if you wanna change it, you can do it, and there's a link up here in the corner that you can go to a video where I show you how you can do that. Anyway, I particularly love this setting. I think it works great for this kind of instrument. Taming some of those lows that can really start to flub out a little bit so that everything just sounds a little bit toiter, you know, if you know what I mean. Uh, cutting the mids, that might seem like something, guys are like, why are you cutting the mids? And I just find that that 800 frequency when it comes to seven string guitars tends to push the honkiness of the tone a little too much. I, I want that detail. I don't want a whole lot of this. I want more of this. So to open it up a little bit more, dipping out that frequency really helps. To even further, provide an example for this. Let's go ahead, I'm gonna drop the B string down to drop A. We're gonna get really heavy. Pardon me for a moment. My friends, that's the EB10 from Walrus Audio, the latest in their evolution of EQ and boost pedals. I love this. This is an instant winner for me. It's going to become a total secret weapon of my rig to make guitars across the board sound even better than they already do. I love the expanded boost and cut frequencies, the fact that you can get more out of each side of the dial. Of course, having the parametric mid-range is awesome, and although we didn't touch on it, trust me, it's gonna come in very handy for those of you who want to make that adjustment. The preset thing is a total mind blower. I love the fact that I can have three set sounds that I'll be able to use across the board. It might be nice if there was some remote switching for it so that I could cycle through via an external foot switch, but for the time being, just having it on the board and just tapping that foot switch whenever I want to change the preset, it's not really going to bother me. It's not like I'm using multiple guitars in one song, am I? But anyway, I love it. I think you need to seriously consider getting an EQ pedal in your arsenal. It will become just as big of a secret weapon for you as it is for me. And in the time being, I wanna know what you guys thought of the EB10. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. And please, when you see it, do click the subscribe button and turn on some notifications so you never miss a demo. But if you'd like to see all the videos before anybody else in the world and get some exclusive content as well, please consider becoming a patron and joining my Patreon page. I got a lot more stuff to get to right now, so I will see you guys later. Until next time, my friends, I'm Sean Pierce Johnson, wishing you all out there great tone and happy stomping. Cheers, everybody. Yeah.